Because a lot of people across the country are starting to wake up. Tom Morris and Daniel Zimba are on the hunt to find their enemy. Armed with rifles and scopes, the key is to keep quiet. This type of exercise preparing me for the ability to hide from forces who might be looking for you. But these men aren't in Iraq or Afghanistan. The purpose was sneak in, observe, watch, listen. They're in northern Michigan. The skills that I'm learning here, I hope I never have to use. You're in the woods with a group of ordinary citizens who form their own military force without government help. The militia is a constitutional aspect of this country. Tom Morris's father organizes this militia's monthly trainings. He's an Army veteran worried that government spending and power are spiraling out of control. The problem is, is that governments, sooner or later, just like ours today, they get a little bit out of hand. This is where one team set up camp for the weekend. They use radios to communicate here and keep watch for an enemy attack. I'm going to meet the guys at the base camp. In this exercise, Tom, whose code name is Bubba, is the enemy. Militia is the people's way of defending themselves. Militias have a long history in the U.S., dating back to 1774. And things have very definitely gotten hot in just the last couple of years. Mark Potuck studies militias for the Southern Poverty Law Center, a nonprofit civil rights organization. We have really seen explosive growth. In 2010, SPLC tracked 330 active militias in the U.S. That's a jump of nearly 700 percent in just three years. Keep your eyes open. And within this underground world, Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano told us that violence is also escalating. We see, of course, the rise of uh, homegrown uh, extremism, uh, some inspired by Al Qaeda, some inspired by other ideologies, but uh, all committing violence in the name of an ideology. Uh, and trying to disrupt and kill. Militia members we spent time with in Michigan say they're not out to hurt others, but to help when needed. In a desired situation, we'd be looking to help the people, help them you know, clean up and recover, and render medical assistance, possibly uh, food. Next. Lou, who didn't want to give his last name, says in the past five years, their militia has also grown by 25%. We got Muslim members, we got people who were of Buddhist beliefs. There are people who are no beliefs whatsoever. Lou and other militia members in this group say they're open to anyone, regardless of race, religion, or political beliefs. The Law Center and Homeland Security say these groups may be the exception, and that several radical militias are sprouting up in communities across the U.S. with strict anti-government beliefs ready to strike against anyone. We've seen, you know, a couple of different plots to murder large numbers of police officers coming out of militia groups in just the last year and a half. For Morris's father, it's not about violence, but all about survival. This weekend, the enemy wins. I spy with my little eyes. Bubba captures the other team's flag without notice, winning the game while also preparing for the worst. My biggest fear is that all hell does break loose.